Good afternoon. Hi, my name is Joe Rasm, and due to a prior work commitment, I'll have to video record my part of the presentation. And the team asked me to cover multifunctional materials and an introduction to the mechanism wheels, which is the focus of our design. Starting off with multifunctional materials, there's been a lot of research in this area, and uh, there's a Dr. Gibson who did a survey of 200 some papers about multifunctional materials, and He's in our references at the tail end of this presentation, and if you really want to dig into it, he's, he's got a good summary of it. Um, paraphrasing and summarizing from some of his research, multifunctional materials uh, combined multiple structural functions and or um, non-structural functions together. So it's... Uh, can have multiple structural functions or a combination of non-structural and structural and examples of that is embedding sensors say into a wind turbine blade or a air wing is what the word I was looking for. We looked at the ones with the asterisks so uh, sensors, damping, optics, those were considered for our design but other applications include electrical connectivity, thermal connectivity and EMI shielding. The key benefit here is by having the sensor closer to the location of the phenomena you might get better resolution or a better design integrity, uh, more ruggedness uh, perhaps, uh, and light weighting uh, by having the sensors built into the actual structural elements as well. Looking at the mechanism wheels itself, in the top right corner you see a, a yellow graphic. On the left there is a pictorial of the actual wheel itself. So you see a hub with many rollers attached to it. Uh, those rollers are at a 45 degree angle and um, what they do is they help um, keep the surface contact at all times so that you can pivot and go from left to right um, on a zero degree basis. Each one of these wheels is driven by an individual motor. There's a lower amount of torque um, just due to the nature of the design and you know because of this you can have smaller motors driving uh, the forklift. Uh, each wheel drives independently kind of like a skid steer and that enables you to translate uh, from left to right. The design was uh, invented by uh, Bent Eilon in 1973. He worked for a Swedish company called Mechanum and um, there's a picture of Bent right there to the right. This is back in 75 and here's some details about his patent. Patent was referenced by 45, 47 other folks and um, there you see a representative list. Uh, key point here is um, pretty much around the area of uh, material handling is where uh, this application is, is seeing its strength. The uh, Department of Navy actually licensed the technology uh, in the late 70s. Some sample applications uh, the company that's doing the most with this technology uh, currently is a company called Vehicle Technologies. Um, above you see the RoboMate, it's a platform. Um, interesting application for this is that uh, if you ever go to the theater or see a play, uh, the landscape uh, in the background moves across the stage kind of smoothly. Um, very often it'll be run on one of these uh, platforms uh, with the mechanism wheels. The other application is, uh, you can see a tug down in the middle section there, and that is uh, for moving aircraft around or other items around in, in tight spaces. And finally, I wanted to plant a seed relative to our design thinking in that, you know, you do a prototype and you want to think about what would production look like and what are the considerations for production. And there you see um, at the bottom a Dragon Runner. I, I became familiar with this from working with CMU, Carnegie Mellon. And I met the inventor of that, and uh, just stuck in my head that you know there's an application for the size of the wheel that we're designing for this project. You could apply it to this Dragon Runner, and um, that could help it move from left to right in some applications a lot easier. Uh, those things are used. Uh, Dragon Runners are used for bomb sniffing under cars, and um, so theoretically you could just set it down beside a car and, and go from left to right, which might be a little bit easier maybe able to traverse the underside of a car a little bit easier. So just want to plant a seed for, you know, if we were to scale up production level, um, what you're going to see here following um, where that could be applied. 
And so with that, I'm going to leave you with the video of the Airtrax Sidewinder forklift. Airtrax Technologies has been uh, uh, incorporated by Vehicle Technologies nowadays. So uh, it seems like Airtrax is no longer in Vehicle Technologies. has so either bought them out or bought all of their licenses. But here's a little video of the Sidewinder forklift. And with that, I'll leave it uh, and hand it off to my team. Thanks.